They don't fit as they used to, though. <laughs> they, they don't fit like they used to? I know. My T-shirt is a little tight on me. I don't understand. <laughs> right. Hey, Chuchin, it's it's wonderful to see you. Um, it's, uh, what's the date? July 30th, right? July 30th. Special yeah. day today. Well, uh, we this week, actually, we celebrate the 25th anniversary. Uh, I think we flew into Toronto the 23rd, and we spent the whole week there. So we Wasn't just planned for, as a Saturday, so everybody can log in and everybody can, you know, celebrate on their part on different right. cities in different pl places in the world. So yeah. So um, you, uh, my name's Gary Auerbach, and I'm uh, living in Winchester, Virginia now. When I moved to Caracas, Venezuela in 1990, I never thought we would cross paths. You know, I had no idea that there was such a huge um, community of Frisbee players there. Um, you're obviously from El Limon, right? Right. Maracay. El Limon, Maracay. Is El, El Limon just in the neighborhood, right? That's the neighborhood, yeah. yeah. It's paradise, though, isn't it? It is. It is. <laughs> yeah. Right in the mountains and then right there, the Caribbean Sea. Oh, so, so beautiful there, Chuchin. Um, Tell me the beginning of, uh, I mean, this is the history of Yanomami. We're, we're celebrating 25 years going to the world championships for the first time. Yeah. Um, what, what an amazing week that was, but all the work that went into it beforehand, that was incredible too. And then who knew that it would continue? That yeah, was your I'm sorry about that. Uh -huh. Well, actually, the, the main concept of Yanomami started because of, mostly because of you, because uh, you were living in, in Venezuela, and that year the World Championships were going to be celebrated in Toronto. So remember that you guys posted a, an ad on a newspaper, and we we found it, we read it, we contacted you guys. We were living in Caracas, we were in Maracay, about an hour and a half drive. Yeah. And then we started to get together, playing ultimate, you know, tossing frisbees on the parks and things. And, and then we received an invitation for Worlds in the Toronto, world. and you said, I live in Toronto. I have a house in Toronto. So where Let's do we go? go. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. And when you say we went to visit, um, it was me and uh, Chris Mance. And Chris and, and, and Yeah. 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 And um, I, sh I made a little video for you. I put it in Dropbox that talking about when I met them. All right. Cool. You know, we didn't even really post an, an ad. See, I was teaching English at a school and somebody else there had a sister who needed to put something in El Nacional newspaper. Right, right. right? The large and, newspapers and newspapers. People want to play Frisbee and meet some gringos, I guess, you know. Mm -hmm. That was the fun thing. Yeah. So and the good thing is that you guys were like, you know, I don't know, like three or four. And then when I called you, I said, we are like 20, 40 in Maracay, so you can come over. And so we started getting together. Uh, you know, like, started like that. It was like the uh, discovery of of, of uh, uh, the lost tribe of ultimate Frisbee players in South America. That's how we felt. <laughs> right. Know? And the name came like that. That's, that was, I remember brainstorming after the games, you know, having some beers at the Pollera there close to the Parque del Este, remember? Yeah, yeah. And then we were looking for a name that will represent mostly the country, you know, something very, you know, local. Yeah. So I think it was Ceci that, that, came came up with the name and then we found out that Yanomami means men's men who shares men who you know shares yeah. with nature and you know, wow. related to ultimate to the spirit of the game and all that right so it was a it was a nice match wasn't yes. it yes yeah and then i i remember um you well, your your brother was a doctor and he was That's uh, correct. yes i still have that picture yeah he was a medicine doctor in with the Yanomami tribes in the amazon mm -hmm. for three years wow I remember I mean, once I sent I sent a disc with him and he took some pictures of the Yanomami tossing disc. Right. <laughs> right. <laughs> yeah. And you know, Chuchin, on another subject, just recently here in Virginia, I met some people who um lived with the Yanomami for like 30 or 40 years. Wow. And both of their daughters are married uh, to Venezuelans. And uh, I told them, well, let's get together. You know, wow. we haven't done that yet, but we will soon. Mm -hmm. Yeah. So um, since 1991, I, I was able to join you in, uh, of course, 91, that, that first time in, in Toronto, and um, we'll talk about that later more. Um, and then 93, I went to Madison, Wisconsin with you. Mm -hmm. And 
In 95, we went to England. And, and then 97, I met you in um, Vancouver. Vancouver, yes. Yeah, and I don't remember if you were at all of them because I'm thinking. No, I didn't go to, my, to Vancouver the first time. I went to the second world's. First time I just moved into Miami and I was working and starting a new business, so I couldn't fly with you guys. But you stopped. Most of the guys that flew in from Venezuela stopped in my house for a few days. We play here with the with the refugees. It was like practice, right? Practice with the Miami refugees. That, by the way, they celebrated the 35th anniversary about uh, a year ago, less than a year ago. And are those really the players who who left Cuba and all um, became ultimate frisbee players, or not really? No, not really. They just took that name. I don't. They, they, in the beginning, they had a, a different name. Oh. Uh, in the eighties, and then they switched to the refugees because were, there were some Cubans, Americans, and people from yeah. Latin America from all over. So. I know. I know. So, um, what other years did I miss? Because I think uh, I heard after soccer. after Blaine in Minnesota. Mm -hmm. We did Vancouver again, we did Hawaii, we did uh, Prague, and then we did Italy. I mean, we've been playing all over. And in between, we've also been playing tournaments like Potlatch in Seattle, a mm -hmm. tournament in Vancouver, a tournament in New Orleans, the Mardi Gras tournament, which is fun. Wait, and wait we, Nanomami has been to all of these places? Yes, and also uh, in the past two years, we started a new team in Venezuela that has been run by, by uh, Chine and all the guys that still live in Venezuela. Mm -hmm. We created an, an, uh, also a new uh, mixed team and a women's team. So they've been in Argentina. They just played in Medellin about two months ago in a great tournament. So we well, keep on going. And you are still El Presidente, right? I'm, I'm the the. President, the dictator, because I'm always going to be the president. <laughs> okay, wonderful. You are, but you have my vote, whether you want it or need it or not. Right. You don't need to vote. <laughs> but, um, how, how many players do you think um, have played? Um, oh, well, yeah, that's the beauty of this. When we started the Yanomamis, uh, we got together with you guys. We were a bunch of Venezuelans, you and Gary and Ceci from England, and Ceci actually from Argentina. I think she was born there. Yeah. So that concept, we kept it. When we went after Toronto 91, which was our first tournament in 93, we took two teams. We got That's a bunch great. of players together. Yeah. And then we flew in and then we had a wonderful two weeks again. So when we got back, we said, this is the concept. Every time we travel, we're going to bring new people to enjoy Belize, to learn, especially the people in, in, in Venezuela that didn't have a chance to travel out of the country. Or experience this type right. of right especially the community in ultimate that are so you know close tight and then that's what we've been doing for 25 years right every year we bring new people in and that people go back to their to their cities or to their colleges or to schools and they spread the word about ultimate and about the general army concept that's amazing so we've been, i don't know that's a good question that's something we need to ask most landed which is a historian for general mommy he keeps all the you know the deals and the t-shirts and the pictures and everything he's got a, a bunch of stuff in his house and maybe so I, I, I can tell you there'll be more than 200 Yanomami players. more than 200 yanomami players uh, yeah yeah and mm -hmm. and uh the oldest and the youngest that would be fun to know also the oldest yeah. should be Jose uh -huh. <laughs> one of the founders uh, myself, I mean, we started in uh, Janomami as, as a team or as a name started in 91, but we started playing Ultimate since the 80s, the early 80s. Right. So, and then there were other players like um, you talked about being in Louisiana where you first discovered Frisbee. And then right. um, I'm thinking Leo was a wonderful Leo, player. Leo, yeah, Leo played with us in, in, in 91 and in 93. Yeah. We just played about two, three years ago in Potlatch. We got together again. It was fun. Potlatch. Wow. Yes. Our oh, Jorge Reyes is, is no longer playing, but he's the one that first, you know, took us to the fields in, in, in Baton Rouge and LSU. Uh -huh. uh, Jose Angel and in Venezuela, we had Cancho, we had Ruben and Angel Morales, and some of the guys that we started, you know, tossing this around in the city, and then we started bringing in soccer players and our friends and then we came in and started from there. That's
that's that's truly truly wonderful. Well, I'm glad we were able to do this little talk because Chuchina, this is recorded, and so anything you say can and will be held against you in court. <laughs> Um, no, but seriously, we can share this. Maybe um, somebody can help translate it because my Spanish is, uh, is rusty today. Uh, it's okay. It's like a bike. You never forget. I know, I know. But but it's uh, it's great to talk with you and know that that this will be shared. Um, and I really hope if 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 you can continue this this blab concept because now you this see what it's powerful. Um, other people can share their stories uh, so that. You know, it's just an amazing thing because I also want to know about more about ultimate peace, and I want to know about what's happening in in uh, Colombia with the ultimate. And amazing, Colombia! The kids are playing this weekend at the World's Juniors in, in, in Poland. Oh my gosh! Are, are, are amazing! They're doing a wonderful job. I mean, they've been playing all over. Uh -huh. They've been playing all the international tournaments. That's that's really great. I mean, the growth and the development there has been amazing, yes. Very cool, very cool. Well, Chuchin, I really have to cut this short, but again, happy birthday, my brother. Don't worry. Thank you so much. All right. Thank you. Yeah. Yeah. Keep in touch. Okay.